At the 600 they come, nearing the home turn, and Peter Perfect, who's been there from the word go, leading only a long neck, Matty's Choice, Dreamtime Dancer, going up there on the outside of Cubitt and Cundy around the corner, and then came Celtic Wizard to the outside. Another Maori boy back in behind those, Tame Impala searching for a run, coming to the 250, and Cubitt and Cundy had reached the lead, Dreamtime Dancer, flat to the floorboards, trying to pick it up, and here comes Celtic Wizard. This is one they've had something on at long odds, Celtic Wizard coming a dream time dancer dream time dancer celtic wizard black galaxy coming through in the middle dream time dancer and celtic wizard dream time dancer adam a very impressive win to start considering the amount of work she had to do out wide yeah she did she um she punched into that breeze and really was probably entitled to finish closer to last and first so you know full credit to the horse i don't know what happened early she looked like she got the one one spot and um then steven's horse um took charge and whether he was ever on the fence I'm not too sure but from then on it was in a bit of pain um, but to her credit she um, she kept giving and there's um, really good stamina on her um, on her dam side and um, and that obviously come to the fore today so I'm really happy to uh, get a win and now she can uh, go to the paddock and we'll hopefully be able to have a crack at the um, at the Oaks sort of uh, next year. You mentioned the stamina on the dam sort of side now people might think when you're saying that maybe 1800 or 2000 metres but you're talking a lot further aren't you? Yeah, well, her mum by Galileo, she was very slow. Obviously, she only won one race over 2,400, but her second dam's got sort of three and 4,000 metre form in Europe. So, um, you know, there's, there's plenty of stamina there. The, um, the stallion obviously puts a little bit of sprint into her, but, you know, she's done a good job. This is her first sort of serious prep, and she's able to uh, finish off it with a Saturday race. So you can't ask for much more than that. It shows her class then, doesn't it, to obviously be able to be competitive over the 1,000 and the 1,200, and then to do what she did today, she's certainly got plenty of upside. Yeah, and she's growing still. She's um, she's still a little bit fragile. She's quite a narrow filly, and um, I, I think she'll she'll come on um, with time. But you you just never know. Potential is a wonderful thing in racing. You hope that they can come back, but you know you just you just try and uh, look after them and do the best you can. And although she'd probably be competitive in a champion fillies or something, I just think that it's too early for her. And a good break over spring will really uh, really do her favours. One horse that did come back and was very impressive last start was Kenosha. Carried the weight and was able to do it 55 and a half today. The race looks a winnable one for her. Yeah, she's um, she's a real speedy little customer and um, she didn't have a trial, so it was nice to sort of be able to space her runs because um, obviously, um, you know, probably doesn't have the fitness on her side for first up without the trial, so sometimes it's going to knock them around, but um, oh, she's worked, been, she's she's the fastest little customer we got on the property. She's a little pocket rocket and, you know, we'll see how she goes today, but drops in weight and she's, she's doing everything right. Well, with that information, hopefully we're speaking again in race three. Best of luck. Thank you.